Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, particularly my FBA family. Big shout out to my family. FBA in the house, you know what I'm saying? Just coming to check in with y'all. I know it's been a minute since I've been on this page, but here I go. Uh, big shout out to everybody that has subscribed to my Queen Chakra page. Um, so yeah, I just came on here to, um, I guess, uh, give my perspective and truth to, um, basically it, it's pretty much a non-factor as far as I'm concerned, but, um, this guy to Herka Bay, um, is calling Tariq Nasheed out stating that we um, um, need to call out for him to uh, reveal who he really is, reveal himself. Um, oh, and now apparently he's calling out, um, now he's calling out basically the tethers. Because apparently, um, people have been on cold, which is the right thing to do. Because Taharka Bay and many others are clearly not on cold. Very much so, not on cold. And it's very sad that you guys are basically haters. Yes. You guys are basically haters. To Harker Bay, um, I'm not going to lie. I think that there's some validity to the things that he's um, put out there. However, I also believe that they're a non-factor when it comes to what truly matters. Okay, we've known who Tariq is for long enough to know that he's about that life. Tariq has sacrificed it all. And so what, nigga? He, he's taking his second chance at life and living his, making it his best, greatest. He, he's taking this second chance at life, as you, you know, allegedly saying, and he's making the best of it. Unlike you, Taharka Bay, you're pretty much um, a hater. Um, and haters are typically losers. So fam, you, Michi X, and many others need to stop hating and get on code. Yes, please, because you you look ridiculous. And obviously, if he was in, you know, part of a witness protection program or, um, you know, his money was long enough to make shit go away or what have you to Harka Bay, leave it the fuck alone. I can see if he was a... Um, you know, serial killer or this just horrible, evil person that's living a lie. No. So the things that you're claiming, even if they are true, so fucking what? What is that gonna do for, oh, you think it's gonna do something for you? You think that the clout chasing is going to get you somewhere. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> well, good luck with that. But let me tell you, I don't think it, you're going to get very far with it. Um, I'm not a Tariq Nashidi. I'm not a Nashidian, as he uh, has so affectionately named um, Tariq. Now she support her. <laughs> because I'm very much um, 
in the know when it comes to investing your time, energy, or money into someone. I'm not going to do that for just anybody, you know. Um, so, yes, to, to Arkabe, you're very much right. We should definitely um, vet people. Absolutely. Um, and... Um, I trust him before I trust your ass. I'll tell you that. And I have not broke out in over a year. And then, bam, there's the dog acne. <laughs> Anywho, so, um, yeah, you, you say that you're not, you know, feeling some type of way about Tariq coming at you, you know, making fun of you. But you know you do because you're being re very ridiculous and off code at this point. Um, and you need to stop. You know what? Tariq does owe you an apology. If you're not a sex offender, let me be the first to publicly apologize on behalf of FBAs. Especially if you're an FBA to Harka. You deserve an apology for that. You know, maybe he went off the deep end. He, he said he's never smoked a joint in his life. Perhaps if he would have smoked a joint... He would have known not to fuck with your big head ass like that. And that he, he had the right one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get it. I do. So, I definitely feel like you do deserve an apology. But you and this cloud chasing, I, I don't think it's going to go well for you. You being a hater. And now you're telling the tethers to come after Tariq because apparently FBAs ain't going and I'm very happy about that. Um, yes, we should question people. We should vet people. Absolutely. I'm all for it. But being a hater and being off cold, nah, I, 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 I can't. I, I, I can't get with that. None whatsoever to Harka Bay. So, yeah. Good job on, you know, cracking the cold. But, brother, cut it out. You're off cold and you're looking like a clout chasing hater. Just like Michi X. And I, I think you were saying the same thing she was saying about, um,. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. I was once stating that, and, and I, st I still feel perhaps a little some type of way when it comes to us getting reparations and people just, you know, giving it right back to the system um, and the white man, essentially, right? But you know what? I absolutely more so agree with Tariq. People can do whatever they please with their reparations because you know what it's theirs we're old in period and that is why you're very off cold and very fucking ridiculous and embarrassing um and, and you should be ashamed of yourself seriously um i i do know someone that Tariq is apparently um, connected with my brother Ken Ivy, aka Pimp and Ken. Okay, um, I've known Ken for many, many years. He's from my hometown, um, and I'm actually acknowledged in his book Forty Eight Laws of the Game. You know what I'm saying? No, I was never a hoe. But um, for those of you that want to continuously say that Tariq was a pimp or whatever the case, just because he is associated with pimps does not make him a bad person, first of all. You know, it was very funny how I became acquainted with uh, Mr. Ivy. I guess I'll go ahead and tell this story. 
Only very few people know this, but so again, um, many years ago, we uh, became acquainted, and uh, one day he was in my hometown at an event, his hometown, and um, I saw him, and you know, it just really he was very intriguing because I had recently saw um, this show on HBO that had him in it, and I, I've been a historian for most of my life. Like, I, I just think it's in my DNA, right? Um, but yeah, I seen the story that he was on, and he was um, speaking about um, some history when it came to, um, you know, uh, that part of the game um, that he's in, right? So it was intriguing. So when I saw him, I was like, oh, okay, you know, that's so-and-so. And, -so. and um, the girlfriend that I was with, bless her heart, um, she was like, like, no way. Like, F him, you know, he's, don't go say anything to him. You know, he's, what did she say? It was so long ago. But what did she say? It was just such a fascinating story, though. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but, you know, she was just telling me not to um, pay this guy no mind because he was going to be this, you know, just horrible person all around and blah, blah, blah. But, of course, you know, I'm a, I'm a, independent thinker and what have you so you know I took what she said with a grain of salt right and it just so happened I was on my way out and he was just right there like in my path and it was just very natural for me and you know come to find out he's a cancer so um that connected us as well but I saw him and we just naturally connected and I was like, you know, hey, and um, we connected for, you know, a few seconds and I just remember the next thing I know, he was like, you know, take down his number and I was like, oh, you know, I was like, I was good, you know what I'm saying, because I'm knowing what he is, you know what I'm saying, and I just was, I was... I'll be honest, like, before meeting him, I, and seeing the HBO um, show, I wasn't very fond of, like, anybody. If I heard pimp or whatever, I was just like, ugh, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I won't say I was, like, a hater, but I was, you know, I, I didn't really, I wasn't fond of it. Not saying I'm fond of it now, but, you know, I was just very ignorant of a lot of things, and... It just wasn't, you know, something that I was interested in like that. As a matter of fact, like I said, it just made me feel some type of way, not a, in a good way, you know. But, um, you know, and I told him, like, you know, I was good. Uh, but he was like, oh, you know, I'm not, you know, well, I figured exactly what he said. But I think we ended up exchanging numbers or something like that. I don't know. I just know that we ended up talking the next day and like the chick that was like talking all this shit it was so funny because when I told her um that next day I was like hey like guess who's coming you know over you know Pippa King you know what I'm saying <laughs> uh, and she was just like oh my god it was so weird because she was trying her best to like get over my house it was like so weird because it was like you were just telling me how horrible this guy was and all of a sudden she's blowing me the fuck up okay like it was just like okay I'm peeping some game here okay lesson learned universe okay whatever right so yeah you know we, we got to know one another um, and I eventually, I'm to this day, I'm acknowledged in the book. I think I said that 48 Laws of the Game. Um, because you know, like when I first, you know, got to know him, I'm like, look, 
never been a hoe, never want to be a hoe, not interested in being a hoe, please, like, miss me with anything like that, and we just ended up, like, exchanging energy and exchanging game, if you will, you know, um, so, yeah, you know, life is all about lessons and what have you, and I just think that, you know, this two-week situation, everybody has a past but he has shown us regardless of it um that he's definitely more good than bad and this man again he has sacrificed you you can tell this man is sacrificing it all for us it it don't get no better than that it it don't get no more honorable than that you know what i'm saying this man has given us something that is so priceless, you know, defining ourselves, our lineage gives us pride, gives us joy, it gives us a nice foundation, you know, like, I think it was like September... I think it was like September. It must have been some type of like Hispanic month or something. And so I was seeing like so many Hispanic flags. I'm like, man, what's going on? Like all these people were driving with Hispanic flags and stuff, you know. And it just, I just reflected upon the fact that, you know, I have a lineage. I mean, I, of course, always knew I, I did, but. We've let the dominant society name us and define us for so long. But enough is enough. And with that, I'm going to land my plane. I hope to see everybody, everybody that can make it to the rally. I'm so elated for us to get on our square and do what needs to be done and that is get on code and stand for something and not the symbolic bullshit that we typically get we ain't going no more you know what i'm saying it's time to wake up stay woke and get it together people Stop the hating. All you Michi and Edo's people and Taharka supporters, please, if you don't do nothing else, regardless of our differences, get on code. Okay? Peace.